Krim 2 Morning News begins now. 530 now on our Wednesday morning. The Air Force is responding to all of the Area 51 drama. The Freeman High School shooting suspect are back in session today. Coming up, we'll have more about what they're trying to decide. And here's a lot of look outside to start off our Wednesday morning. We saw a beautiful sunrise from downtown Spokane. You can see that on our Crumb 2 Facebook page as well. But right now we have finally seen the sun come up. We're going to be enjoying a cloudy day. Details on the forecast are coming up. 531 now and welcome back to Crumb 2 Morning News. Happy to have you with us today. I'm Jen York and I'm Evan Arani. Thanks for joining us. Uh, a beautiful start to the day. That's all we were noticing this morning. I had to stop in my tracks walking <laughs> in the studio this morning and I said, Evan, have you looked outside? And he's like five minutes ago. I was I've like, already Jen, I've this. tweeted it's it. It's on Facebook. Come on, you're behind on this, <laughs> Sorry, but it's it right. is gorgeous. It's been really nice. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what we get uh, in return for having to deal with cloudy skies. It's at least a beautiful mm -hmm. sunrise and what will probably be a beautiful sunset as well. Uh, but we do have to get through a little bit of more spring like weather that we've still been dealing with, right? Yeah, and yesterday nearing a record for rainfall for summer, right? Yeah, well, we saw 16 one hundredths of an inch yeah. this month in July. We had never seen any measurable precipitation. Mm this year every day that we saw something maybe a drizzle a little bit of rain nothing measured at even one one hundredth of an inch but yesterday at the Spokane Airport we did see one of those quick moving rainstorms in the early morning hours just about 24 hours ago and that made us uh, brought us to 16 one hundredths uh, total so that is a plenty of rain for us especially for this time of the summer hour by hour temperatures are going to keep warming up we're going to get rid of the rain but we're going to keep the clouds okay so so uh, rain is gone. The only areas where we have a slight threat of showers is really up across that international border. Anywhere south of it, you're likely going to be staying dry today. There may be a few sprinkles here and there, but nothing like we saw yesterday. Hour by hour, we'll make it to 75 degrees. That's by 6 p.m. Notice how those wind gusts out of the south southwest are going to be pretty hot. 12 mile an hour wind gusts uh, and those will jump. Those are actually sustained wind speeds. The gusts will be more in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, so it's going to get breezy in the afternoon. Uh, we see on Saturday satellite radar, the increase in cloud cover, a couple showers up toward Okanagan County, but nothing really pushing farther to the east of uh, there. Most of uh, extreme eastern Washington and North Idaho staying completely dry to start off the day. Now we've been talking about these wind gusts. Notice where they go. We're already a bit breezy in the teens. We're going to make it to the 20 mile per hour range by about 6 p.m. Good chance that we'll make it to even the 30 mile per hour range in some spots of central Washington. So if you're walking to work or uh, going to be biking outside today, uh, keep in mind that there will be quite a breeze outside. I'll have more details on that coming up as well as our increased fire danger. Jen, I'll send things back to you for now. Evan, thank you. 533 now. A hearing is expected to resume today for the suspected Freeman High School shooter. A judge will decide if he should be tried as an adult. Krem 2's Nicole Hernandez is joining us live this morning from where that hearing will get underway this morning. That's right. So earlier this week, the first day of the 17 year olds hearing was in session and now today this later this morning, the court will be back in session. Now he is accused of opening fire in the Freeman High in in the hallways of Freeman High School back in 2017, leaving one student dead and injuring three others. Earlier this week, a school district bus driver took the stand, saying she remembers the suspect bringing a golf club bag onto the bus that day. Prosecutors are arguing that Sharp understood the consequences of his actions and is asking the judge to try him as an adult. But his defense is arguing that the juvenile system will be the most effective. His goal was to do the greatest amount of harm to the greatest amount of people, specifically his classmates. We believe that the evidence will show at the conclusion of this and the improvements that he has made and with the uh, understanding, finally understanding what it is that has been happening with him and what's happening inside of him. Uh, rehabilitation can occur. It can occur within the time frames that are available to Mr. And neither the, neither the public will need, it, will need further protection from Mr. The hearing will start back up this morning, but it's possible the judge will not make a decision today. The hearing was supposed to happen back in April, but was moved to May and then again to this week. The suspect will turn 18 this fall and we will make sure to keep you updated on any updates as the hearing continues. Live here in Spokane, I'm Nicole Hernandez. I'll send it back to you guys. Nicole, thank you. 535 now. 
Here are the top stories that you need to know before you start your day. A downtown Spokane bar is changing policies after reports of drinks being spiked. This surfaced on social media. The owner of the Globe Bar and Kitchen posted new drink rules this week after someone posted a sign that said women get drugged at the Globe. The owner says they will now be offering lids for drinks and employees will remake drinks for free if customers believe their drink has been tampered with. Spokane police are asking people to come forward if they believe their drink has been drugged at any bar in the city. The U.S. military is urging people to stay away from Area 51. This comes after more than 1 million people responded to a Facebook event titled Storm Area 51. Experts stress do not show up. The Nevada Test and Training Range is an area where the Air Force tests and trains combat aircraft. They say it's dangerous for those not in the military. Retired Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens has died. He was 99. Stevens served the high court for nearly 35 years. He joined as a Republican with a moderately conservative record, but became the leader of the liberal wing. He supported abortion rights and limits on the death penalty. Spokane Police Department wants to remind the public to be aware of possible summer scams. Officers say crooks are running home improvement scams. They say suspects will contact homeowners and try to make them a good deal on supplies from a job nearby. They will then collect the money and never complete the project. Officers say to always ask for references and licenses to prevent from being to prevent being scammed. Here are the top three trending stories in our area today. Game of Thrones just set a new record for Emmy nominations. The show received 32 nominations. The saga, saga broke the record originally set by NYPD Blue in 1994. The Little Mermaid casting is moving right along. The Hollywood Reporter claims they already have a potential Prince Eric. They say One Direction member turned actor Harry Styles is in the early negotiation for the part. The Hollywood Reporter also states the remake is showing its hand of casting both Styles and Halle ba Bailey. Both actors come from the music world. And this may suggest a song-heavy remake. Hmm. Mm. Halle Bailey, all for Harry Styles. I don't know. I get. I mean, the thing is, that's such a, such an easy role to cast. I mean, you just need to. Eric brunette. doesn't do anything. He's just He's a such brunette. A dud. Yeah. Well, it's all so, about Ariel, okay? <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad they did. They casted Elvis for uh, that biopic. That's, so that's right. Mm -hmm. And, and he was, was the in the one, running for that. He, yeah, and he was. And so I think everyone's like, eh, Harry, sorry, you lost that one, but maybe you could. Uh, squeeze in there for Eric. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a runner-up, right? <laughs> exactly. We'll have to wait and see, right? 538 now. While the Apollo 11 moon landing has held the record for TV viewership for five decades. 50 years later, the mission remains an iconic moment. The Spokane Indians are in a tight race at the top of their division. Coming up at 6, we'll break down last night's game.